Hello, I'm Paul Stevens, and here I am on our wetlands discovery area, uh, and this is Wildlife Weekly. Now as part of uh, Reserve Warden's job, um, we do regular surveys for a whole range of different species uh, here on the reserve uh, and monitoring those, those populations of say dormouse or water vole gives us good indications of how our habitat management um, is working or not working in, in, in some cases. Bioblitzing, a very modern term, basic for an intense period of time uh, to cover as many different species surveying wise uh, in, in a set period of time. Now we challenged ourselves here uh, to cover different uh, eight different orders um, from, uh, from dormice right through to our butterflies uh, and all in the space of two weeks. One of the areas um, that we wanted to survey on the bioblitz was our wet grass and to look at the uh, floral species and, and, and different types of sedges, reeds, etc. Uh, and for that we brought in expert Nick Sturt along with uh, 30 members from the Sussex Botanical Recording Society. The uh, Sussex Botanical Recording Society have been working at the uh, Trust today uh, looking at the, uh, the vegetation um, we like to do surveys for uh, all sorts of bodies and landowners. This morning we've been enjoying this uh, wet meadow with uh, a host of plants associated with that sort of uh, environment. We've been particularly pleased with the great abundance of the brookweed, Samolus valerandi, but there are lots of other plants here. Several uh, species of water forget-me-nots uh, have been good to see. Uh, it's uh, a good snapshot of this habitat in August. Uh, in order to get a complete record uh, of the plants, we would like really to make a visit earlier in the year, particularly we would be picking up more grasses and a few more sedges at that time. We were really pleased um, with what Nick and his group found out um, on, on wet grass and a whole range of different species. Um, but what they particularly liked was the actual community of um, fen, fen lamb plants that they found out there. And that mix is uh, quite an unusual find um, in this day and age. Now we also uh, surveyed for moths um, using three traps uh, dotted uh, around the reserve. Uh, we came up with um, quite a few different species uh, and we'll go over to Sam Halpin and find out what we found. Hi, my name's Sam Halpin. Uh, we've been doing a moth survey overnight. I'm stood outside the Outlook Inn, which is where we set one of our three moth traps. Moth expert Mike Snelling came in this morning to help us identify all the various species of moths. And this quite big moth species here, this is a poplar hawk moth. And we had five of those in the moth trap round by the Outlook Inn, which is where we are now. So when we release these guys, we just put them out into the little hedgerows. I'm going to put this one out on the privet. From the trap down at our meadow maze, we got 22 different species. One of them was very interesting, the small China mark moth. Now this is a, a very aquatic species. The adults actually lay their eggs on surface plant weed and then the caterpillar actually lives within a little cocoon of leaves underneath the water surface. So a fantastic wetland species. Um, our moth trap at uh, San Martin Hyde uh, picked up 14 different species and a really fantastic moth in there was the canary shouldered thorn. Now, Canary, canary yellow, this is the colour of this moth and it is really bright yellow and lovely and fluffy as well making it a fantastic little find in there. So sightings out on the reserve this week include a little egret uh, regularly appearing on, on our gravel island out on the Aran River Life and really exciting uh, this week was a great white egret as well, much bigger version of the little egret. Uh, obviously we've also got our regulars, we've got San Martin still passing through, a couple of hundred at a time being seen at the San Martin Hyde and while you're there 
a kingfisher has been showing fantastically well as well. So get down here. If you want to find out more about uh, what we're seeing here, visit our website, our wildlife sightings, uh, and also follow us on follow us on Facebook and Twitter.